Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we will understand what is difference between let and var keyword. And we will also take a look at JavaScript strict mode. We will first take a look at let and var keyword. So, what is the difference between let and var keyword? In the earlier version of ECMAScript 6, we use var keyword to declare a variable, just like this. So, to declare a variable, we will say var v, we will specify the identifier, so I will say v is equal to 4 and just print this on console. So, using this statement, you can also declare a variable. So, why JavaScript was needed to invent let keyword? Var keyword is available everywhere in the current scope, even before its declaration. For example, so I will say console.log and print x variable here. And after that, I will declare var keyword. So I will say var x is equal to 4. So if you run this example, then you will get undefined on the console. But if you just specify let keyword except var to the x variable, then you will get different output. When you do that, you will get an error message x is not defined. Right? The reason behind this, when you specify var keyword to declare a variable, JavaScript scan the entire scope and declare x variable with undefined value. But JavaScript does not assign a value to that variable. This mechanism called hosting. Now let's take the following example and understand what is the difference between let and var keyword. So I will just create a simple example with for loop. So I will say for where i is equal to 0, i is less than 3, i plus plus and just print i variable here. And just after the for loop, I will say console.log and here I will print i variable again. So I will say outside block and print i variable. After that, I will create one more for loop. So I will say for let. So I will use let keyword here to declare a variable. So I will say let k is equal to 0, k is less than 3, k plus plus. And just print this k variable on the console. And just after the block, I will say console.log and print k variable. So I will say outside block and just specify k variable, right? We are using concatenation here to concatenate value with the string. So in this example, you can see when you execute this statement, you will get x value outside of the block, except that you will get error message when you are accessing the let variable. I hope you understand what is the difference between let and var keyword. You cannot access let keyword outside of its block while you can access var variable outside of its block, right? Now let's talk about what is strict mode. In ECMAScript 5, if you forgot to declare var keyword, JavaScript assumed that you were referring to a global variable. If no such a global variable exists, then JavaScript create that one. So this has been a source of a programming error. For the solution, JavaScript introduced a concept of strict mode, which would prevent implicit globals. To use strict mode in your program, specify string use strict in the double quote on the top before any other code. If you do this, the entire program run in the strict mode. If you wanted to execute function in the strict mode, you can specify this string in the function also. 
I will just first take an example of global strict mode. For example, if you just specify x is equal to global and just print this on the console, right? Now, when you execute this, you won't get any error because JavaScript create x variable and assume as a global variable. Let's add a strict mode in this program. So I will just say in the double quote, I will specify use strict. So I will just add a strict string here and I will say in the double quote, I will specify use strict. Now when you execute this, you will get an error message on the console. X is not defined. Now JavaScript run the entire scope in the strict mode. When you run the entire scope in the strict mode, JavaScript will not assume this variable as a global. So you will get error. X is not defined. You can do the same thing with function also. Like this. So I will just create a function here. So in the parenthesis, I will wrap the function. And just say use strict declare a variable x global and just print this variable on the console so when you specify this strict mode in the function this strict mode is only available in the function using strict mode you can secure most of the error messages so when you execute this you will get error message right that's it i hope you understand this lecture i have asked a question in the comment Answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.